Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Francis Wang. Here's a look at some of your Tuesday morning headlines. The state's largest teachers union is filing a lawsuit against Governor Ron DeSantis and other state officials. The lawsuit argues a return of classrooms next month would be unsafe and irresponsible. The Florida Education Association, NAACP, as well as educators in both Broward and Dade counties filed this lawsuit yesterday. Both superintendents Robert Runcie and Alberto Cavallo have said it's unlikely they will go back to 100% classroom learning. No final decisions have been made. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is expected to speak about the pandemic later this morning. It comes as the city has started filing of fining people $50 for not wearing a mask in public. About 50 people were cited yesterday. Miami Dade police started giving out $100 fines for the same thing last week. And as of yesterday, they say they have given out more than 150 civil citations. Researchers say the coronavirus vaccine developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca triggered a robust immune response in hundreds of patients in what is the largest vaccine trial to date. The company's CEO says the drug giant is on track to start rolling out millions of doses by the fall. Meanwhile, President Trump says he'll likely resume his coronavirus press briefings today. And he tweeted a photo of himself wearing a mask, declaring it patriotic. And developing right now, police in Ukraine say a man with a gun and explosives is holding about 20 people hostage on a bus. Ukrainian media reports shots have been fired at the scene, but it's not clear by who. This is happening in Lutsk, a city in the northwestern part of the country. Police say they are trying to get in touch with that man who has complained about Ukraine's system on social media. And that's a look at some of your morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon, and you can get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.